Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left hand side here versus Linux Mint 20.3 on the right hand side there. So a uh, little bit of an apples to oranges video. Uh, Fedora 36 is running on the default desktop environment of uh, GNOME or GNOME as it's sometimes referred to as. So it's a fairly refined desktop environment but uses a little bit more RAM and CPU usage to say the least. Whereas on the right hand side we've got the Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. So it is using the, of course, the Cinnamon desktop environment there. If we were to say uh, jump into the file managers, these are usually pretty similar but not exactly the same. So we've got the what's called the GNOME Files file manager here on the left for Fedora 36. Whereas on the right hand side for Linux Mint 20.3, I'll just double check this, but it is uh, known as Nemo. Uh, actually, sometimes otherwise known as Nautilus, even files in a way. But um, yeah, basically you can right click, open a terminal, and that keeps me very happy there. You will also notice the uh, the coloring scheme that both use. Mint uses green and Fedora always uses blue. So that's a nice little touch to each of these for sure. If we are to jump into, say, the, the back end a little bit here, and we'll have a bit of a look. So the kernel uh, used for Fedora 36 is the 5.17 kernel. Really the latest kernel of any release that I know to date there. So it's really the latest and greatest, good for later hardware, all those sorts of things there. And on the right hand side for Linux Mint, we're running on an older 5.4 kernel. The reason for that is it is actually running on a older or a, a stable Debian uh, back end for Linux Mint. So it's actually, actually, sorry, it's running on an older version of Ubuntu uh, 20.04, the long-term service release, which in turn runs on Debian there. So if you've got later hardware, you're probably maybe looking at Fedora 36 in comparison there. Uh, let's see, so as I mentioned, we've got the GNOME desktop environment on the left and the Cinnamon desktop environment on the right. Let's just lastly have a little bit of a look at the CPU usage here. And here we go. So on the left hand side, we're running at, uh, yeah, pretty much idling out for CPU as we are uh, not so much with uh, Linux Mint, but uh, that could be having an update or something running in the background. Who knows? It's actually a little bit frozen there looking. I might actually load this up again. So sorry, guys. Here we go. It's just slow. Oh, there we go. Slow to update. So CPU is both idle, idling off nicely. Now on the left hand side, we've got a, exactly a gigabyte of RAM of usage on boot up. So that is... Uh, Pretty high in my opinion. And then on the right hand side for Linux Mint 20.3 Cinnamon Edition, we have 655 megabytes of RAM. So not exactly double the amount of RAM, but certainly a good 30, 40% more, that sort of thing, uh, usage for Fedora on boot up. Something always to, to keep in mind because uh, you may have an older uh, desktop, PC, laptop, netbook, notebook, you name it, and you just wanna throw one of these puppies on there just to see and test with. So probably recommend uh, Linux Mint, which everybody loves. Very, very big thriving, loving community there. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.